does Perez need to announce his retirement to have some dignity departing Red Bull? Because, like I said, it's gone from, okay, this is embarrassing. Oh, you're having a bad race weekend. To now it's just, it's painful. It's like, you're not the driver you used to be anymore. Yeah, and you want to know the, the, the last time we, we um, saw Sergio Perez finish on the podium of a Formula One race, the, the last time was April 21st in the Chinese Grand Prix. It is the 1st of December now. Can you imagine going from April all the way to December and you haven't finished on the podium in a Red Bull car in any Formula One race? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's a fireball offense in my opinion because I, I know the I know the Ferrari Mc, McLaren Mercedes they've obviously caught up to Red Bull the Red Bull is not as strong as as it has been in the last couple of years but still look at Max Verstappen he's still been able to perform and obviously won a championship and all of that and Sergio Perez he's, he's a lot to finish eighth right now in the driver's standings while his teammate is many 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 points up the road on him and and Sergio Perez's bad performances throughout the season ha- ended up costing Red Bull the constructors' championship. Given the car that they have, Red Bull should be constructors' champion, but they're out of it, and they're not, and, and they're not going to win it this year because of Sergio Perez. And the blame definitely falls all on his shoulders here. But yeah, I, I really think it's over. I know he's I know he signed that contract extension, and somebody in Red Bull I don't even know what they were thinking to sign him to a contract extension. And in and, and, and a way, Joe, it's kind of like I know we don't like to use stick and ball sports analysis, but it's, it's, it's really like some of these players and say the, the NFL, the NBA, they, they, they play really well. And then they get a well-deserved contract extension. As soon as they sign that contract extension, they completely fall off and they're, and they're not who they used to be at, at all. And it makes you wonder what on earth went wrong. And I'm wondering the same thing with, with Sergio Perez. He went from being someone who we call King of the streets to being somebody who's, who's no, who's nowhere to be seen going from King of the streets to somebody who's probably going to be, walking down the street with you know with this with this book bag you know all alone because it really seems like that is completely over at red bull like i said on previous shows the lawyers are going to figure out how to get out of this situation legally and and max verstappen is almost certainly going to have a new teammate in 2025 i would be absolutely shocked if sergio perez is on the grid in 2025 in melbourne australia to start off next year's Formula One season, but then again, I was I'm actually shocked that he's finishing out this season because we thought there were many times that they were going to replace him, and I wonder if Red Bull is having some regrets about not replacing him down the stretch, or maybe like a a, a Liam Lawson, a Yuki Tsunoda. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, they already got rid of Daniel Ricciardo, so I don't know what they would have done with him. But yeah, I I think it would be really nice for Sergio Perez to you know announce his retirement from Formula One and you know go out with some dignity because it's been. A, definitely a humiliating situation for them. And I really hate that for Sergio Perez because he seems like, you know, really nice person and all of that. But he just hasn't he just hasn't lived up, you know, to the expectation of what it means to be a Red Bull Formula One driver, driving a world championship winning car like this. It, it, his performance has just been unacceptable. I don't know how you, I don't know how your last podium in Formula One in this type of car is, you know, on April 21st, and we are on December 1st. It doesn't really make sense. Like I said, it, that's a fireball offense, in my opinion.